Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, Make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. Now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, right now the whole New York drill scene is clowning Juice G's after a video of him running from D-Thing G's manager has went viral all over social media. Y'all bear with me, it's a lot of G's and G's that. But anyway, we all thought D-Thing, Use, and them are cool. However, the problem don't seem to be with D-Thing, it seemed to be with his manager and Use G's. Now here's the thing, does that mean that now D-Thing and Use G's got beef with each other? No, because I've seen plenty of times where guys fall out over certain things, and sometimes it's out of your control what your friends get themselves into. Sometimes, no matter what you say, even if you try to defuse the situation, you can't. Now, I'm not sure what happened here with Use and D-Thing's manager, but it seemed like something personal between them um, because D-Thing looked like he tried to intervene, but it wasn't stopping nothing. Now, Use can feel away and decide to include D-Thing in it because I've also seen instances where guys include everybody that was around because sometimes dudes say, well, you was there and you didn't do nothing, or you was there and you didn't help, or even sometimes guys can feel like it was a backdoor situation. However it goes, that's totally up to these guys to handle upon themselves. Now judging from the video, it actually looked like D-Thing was trying to talk to the manager and get him to calm down, but whatever Use did to him, he looked like he wasn't trying to hear it. He was swinging, trying to take his head off. Um, in the video, you can clearly see that D-Thing was present while all this was going on, but he didn't really get in the middle of it. However, as men, you gotta hold your own, so I can't really put any blame on D-Thing. Now shout out to NYC Drill on Instagram because according to them, all of this transpired over Use G's allegedly taking some marijuana from the manager, I guess. Now I don't know how true that is, but my first question was, well damn, how much marijuana did he take? Because the manager was swinging like he was Tyson back in 96. And clearly Use didn't want no parts because he didn't even think twice about even attempting to throw up his hands. Now before we get into what all the drill rappers in New York reacted to this video, I want to know y'all opinions on something after watching the video because there's mixed feelings about use running. If y'all want to watch the full video, I'll leave a link pinned in the comments for you guys to check the whole thing out there. However, some say he's smart for running because they look like if he would have fought back, then they would have all jumped him. Then you got others that feel it don't matter whether they was going to jump him or not. Win, lose, or draw, you got to stand on business. It's no way you running from a fist fight. So I want to know what y'all think about this one. Do y'all think he was smart for running? Or do you think he should have stuck around and at least tried to get a hit in or something? <laughs> Let us know in the comments, man. Now, me personally, I think he should have at least fought back. I know it's easier said than done because most people, um, if they were in that situation, it's a whole bunch of stuff they claim they would have did just to sound tough for the sake of social media. However, this is Use G's. This is the same man dissing dead ops, dissing his regular ops, talking about spinning blocks. You know, all types of Dracos and everything in the video. So it's no way you on camera running. He's the same one screaming that run Ricky run stuff, but he ran and it wasn't even a gun involved, right? I can see maybe if it was a weapon and he had to get out of there because he didn't have one, then that's just smart. I would rather you run and keep your life rather than try to be tough and lose your life over stupidity, right? It's pretty much intellect over emotions. However, he ran and it was no firearm in sight. And I wonder what's gonna be his comeback because y'all know he loved going live, clowning his ops. And y'all know if this was the shoe on the other foot, he would definitely probably went live already. Y'all know how it goes, man. So I wonder what his excuse is gonna be. Matter of fact, I'm sure he might say that the manager probably had a weapon on him 
or something and we just couldn't see it from the camera angle and that's why he ran right i hope he at least say something like that because ain't no way now however on a more serious note situations like this is what make these guys go and crash out because he has a reputation to uphold for his rap career and it's almost like now he's forced or peer pressure to do something to redeem himself because if not this is always going to be the running joke running joke anyway all jokes aside this is now going to be the thing all his ops always bring up and nobody's going to take him serious right how are they you know how they supposed to believe you about spinning blocks and you really like that if you on video running from a fist fight like i said a situation like this that'll cause these guys to go and crash out because they got to redeem themselves and don't want to look crazy in front of the world so also let this be a lesson to all the kids that idolize all this drill stuff wrestling i call it a lot of these guys may seem like they're about that life only because the drill scene is beneficial most of these guys only dissing because it's profitable but as you can see in real life they're never how they appear to be and i'm not saying all of them i'm not saying everybody you just got certain ones that love glorifying the lifestyle that they themselves don't even live only because it's profitable and what it does is fool the kids who look up to some of these guys to go out there and actually live the life then catch a bunch of years in jail only to realize later that they idolize somebody that's not even really like that themselves that's all i'm saying so let's get into what all the new york drill guys had to say after the video went viral y'all know his ops had a field day with this of course I'm going to start off with Rowdy Rebel's brother, Fetty Luciano, as he would say, quote, Drill rap done, just stop. Basically, without a gun, a lot of N-words be soft. Yeah, average Nunu, streets prove to us every day. Then in the next post, Shy E.K. would say, quote, He was never tough. Rod Eye Sleeves would say, quote, Laughing mad loud, the gun is going outside. Running from a fist fight is crazy. In the next post, Kenzo Baller would say, quote, Nah, I would have popped on him on bro. B Love himself will also say, quote, Nah, this is crazy. In another post, Molly G would say, quote, In word run like Bambi, laughing emoji. Then C Blue would say, quote, He lucky he ain't have his chains, they would have stolen. Then Smooth L would say, quote, Nah, he could have fought and just lost. F all that running, heartbroken emoji. In another post, on point like OP would say, quote, he could have just fought, shrug, and laughing emoji. Then in another post, Duty Low would say, quote, on the bros, nobody on this block will ever, ever, ever. Hand over face and laughing emoji. J. Geek would comment saying, quote, maybe they was play fight, laughing emojis, pointing emoji. Shy K will also comment again with laughing emojis, while C Blue would say, quote, he better never. Pretty much, I guess, say he better never do this again because, I mean, he can't. You know, not after this. Anyway, 26AR will comment with laughing emojis, while in another post, YouTuber BMG Upper Class will comment saying, quote, drill rappers crying laughing emoji. On point like OP's brother, 1090 Scrap himself, also commented with nothing but laughing emojis, and that was pretty much it. It just happened, so y'all give it time to simmer. Um, I'm sure more ops will be talking about this. I'm sure that Use G's will be responding to this pretty soon because he has to. No, he literally has to. This isn't something that's just going to go away or slip under the rug. They definitely not going to let him live without answering to this. Trust me. Now, for the kids watching this, hopefully y'all realize that that street life is more than just making songs, dissing people, going live, talking crazy, and screwing up your face to look evil. Just know that everybody's integrity gets tested at some point in time, and that lifestyle you claim you live, you're gonna have to stand on it or end up being viral on social media like we see here. All right, so y'all jump in the comments, let me know what y'all think about this. Matter of fact, do y'all think his rap career is over? You know, that that's the question. Do y'all think that he could come back after this? After you see this video, after you see him running and everything, is what he say still believable? You know, I don't know. It's Usually when I see things like this, I like artists for being you know, um, credible. I like artists for being authentic. So when I hear you talking about something, nine times out of 10, I could tell whether they lying or not. But if I see you talking about something, I believe you until you give me no choice not to, right? 
So I don't know if I could really listen to somebody after seeing something like this or seeing them not live up to what they rap about. Let's just say that. You know, um, whether you make good music or not, it's just, I like, you know, I like authenticity. So it is what it is, man. Um, y'all jump in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.